In this first tutorial, we'll be looking at downloading and installing Picasa on your computer. The first step is to navigate to the download site on the internet. The URL is quite simple. It's picasa.google.com. Keep in mind that Picasa ends with an A. Picasso, ending with the letter O, is actually the name of the great abstract painter Pablo Picasso. Picasa is the name of the software program in which we're interested. Also note that Picasa has only one S. That's a common spelling error. But in any case, if you enter anything close to the proper name in a search box using Google or Bing or whatever search engine you prefer, you'll get this page at or near the top of your hit list. Now, if you're a Macintosh user, there's a comparable page for you. Uh, you can see here that the page is virtually identical, uh, indicating a download option for the Macintosh. Please note that you will require uh, a Mac that's running OS X 10.49 or higher. And if you have an older Mac that's run by a PowerPC processor, unfortunately, this software will not work. Um, that's likely to be a relatively small percentage of users at this point, so I guess that's a good thing. We're working on a Windows machine today, so I'll switch back to the Windows download and click there. And you'll see it opens this setup.exe uh, dialog box. We'll click Save File. And the download window shall open. And rather quickly, the progress bar indicates that the software has been successfully transferred from the internet to your hard drive. Uh, exe is an execute file. Uh, we'll double click on that to launch the setup uh, portion of the program and we'll get this uh, warning dialog box. Uh, on most Windows machines you'll get this unless you've turned it off and this is because as you're probably aware the internet is rife with malicious software, spyware, malware, uh, viruses and so, and so forth. So you do need to be quite careful about uh, what you permit to be uh, downloaded from the internet onto your computer. But we can um, safely assume, I think, that Google is a trusted source. So we'll click OK. Incidentally, you can turn this message off for uh, future occasions. Uh, personally, I don't mind being reminded to be careful. But I'll click OK here. Uh, we'll get another in this continuing series of dialog uh, windows uh, asking us if we actually want to run the software, which we do. And then we're brought to the ever so lovely license agreement a uh, rather lengthy uh, text of legal boilerplate uh, that we all ignore and never actually read uh, perhaps because we're terrified to know what we're agreeing to nevertheless if you want the software you do need to click i agree and accept google's terms uh, and then you'll be brought to a screen that allows you to choose where exactly on the hard drive this program will be installed on a Windows machine by default. Program files is the place where all these applications are installed. Uh, there's usually no reason um, to choose any other uh, destination, but if for some reason you'd like this installed elsewhere, you can click the Browse button and uh, install it um, wherever on your hard drive you might uh, prefer. I'll just click Install in this case, and once again we're treated to the ever so exciting uh, progress bar, which will hopefully result in a successful installation, which should bring us to the final in this lengthy series of windows, um, the completion of the Picasa 3 setup, where you have a number of options that you can uh, choose from. You can uh, create a shortcut uh, on the desktop, which is a handy way to launch the program from the desktop. Uh, you can add a shortcut to quick launch. Uh, you can set Google as your default search engine. Uh, in Internet Explorer, if that's the browser that you use, uh, which many people obviously do, you can elect to send anonymous usage stats to Google, which helps them to see which features uh, users actually employ and in what way, and hopefully compile statistics and data that will help them improve the program in the future. And you can choose to run Picasa at this point, which I do not choose to do. I'll click Finish. I'll close this download window, and I will be thanked for successfully downloading Picasa 3.6.